Piano Tech Support here. Welcome to another video. Today I will be doing the Chopin Etudes Opus 10 and 25 ranked by difficulty. So a couple of days ago I put out a video uh, looking through the Opus 10 Etudes ranked by difficulty and I kind of want to build on that so I will quickly set up the Opus 10 Etudes like I discussed in my video. If you want to know the details why you can check out uh, the video and there will be a flashcard right now uh, showing you the link to that video and I will put these etudes in and then I will discuss the um, Opus 25 etudes. So as you can see here we have um, five difficulties uh, elite, hard, demanding, advanced and painless and please keep in mind that we're only looking at uh, purely technical difficulty. Uh, I might do a video ranked by musicality or something like that because it would be a whole different story. For example, if you look at Opus 10 number 2, one of the hardest etudes that there are, in terms of musicality, it's not challenging at all, one could say, because it's quite simple, straightforward, and you know, it's just purely technical. But um, most people define difficulty as technical, or at least that's what I want to do for this video. So I will look at purely the technical challenge, and I will set up the... Um, the list I had, the ranking I had from my video. So let's quickly go over this. We had Opus 10 number 1 and Opus 10 number 2 in Elite. Then let's see, in the hard category we had uh, 10 8, there you go, as well as 10 10 and 10 4. And this is like a challenge to see the right piece and 10 12 where are you 10 12 there you are in demanding we had 10 7 and 10 11 uh 7 11 i wish right okay um 10 5 in advanced and as well as what is that 10 free and painless we said 10 6 and 10 9 so this is the ranking for the opus 10 etudes um, by difficulty as i said um, as in terms of technical difficulty and if you want the details to this go check out the video where i uh, basically go through the opus 10 but i want you to see all the etudes um, in comparison uh, maybe i'll zoom in a little bit here so you can really see it better and okay let's go let's get started first we have the opus 25 number one one thing i noticed about opus 10 and opus 25 is that the difficulty varies a lot in 25 so you got either easy easier pieces or very hard pieces um in opus 10 it seems more of a balance and if you before you ask have you played these pieces i have at least practiced and looked at every Chopin etude. I have played most of them, like also somewhere, or let's say uh, I got them performance ready. Uh, of course, less in 25 than Opus 10, because I said already I played uh, Opus 10, but Opus 25 a little bit less, but still I know the pieces. For example, I have not played 25-2. Uh, and I have not played, uh, yeah, 25-9, for example. But I know sort of where they go because I've practiced them. So let's get started. 25-1 is a relatively painless etude, um, but not painless enough that I would put it here. I would probably put it in the advanced category because demanding is a step up from that and... I'm not sure I want to put it there. Okay, so 25-2, from what I understand, is mostly uh, sort of chromatic lines uh, with a with a small hand, um, small hand movements, um, and I've heard it played very badly, unfortunately, <laughs> very often. But I know that it's not a so challenging piece, anyways. So I will put it also in the advanced category okay 25 free <laughs> it's 
So as you can see, we really have a lot of the same difficulty here. This is also something that goes uh, between painless and advanced, but because painless is probably reserved for the totally easiest ones, um, I would put it there. Actually, I'm thinking if I should put 25-2 in painless. Because it's just not <laughs> challenging. Okay, let's continue. 25-4. Now, this one is definitely demanding. I will tell you that. You got all these jumps going on. I mean, you guys know this attitude. Um, probably uh, very famous. But uh, that's a challenging one. Even it's like only one minute long. But the tempo is fast and you got... You know, you're really testing your jumps there. Uh, so demanding for sure. Demanding for sure. 25-5. Yeah, interesting one. It's got one of the most beautiful middle sections. Uh, but is it challenging enough that I would put it in demanding? Um, I don't know. If I think about it. I mean, I've played it. Of course, like probably all of you too. If I think about it now. Think about the peace and the challenges. I don't really see it. I don't really see it. I'm going to put this in advanced. And if there are some musical challenges, yeah, there are for sure. But as we, as we said, this is purely on a technical level. Uh, the middle section. Yeah, this is, this is the right place for 25.5, I would say. Okay, then we have a big one. A really big fish right here. 25-6. Where is it going? Painless. Yeah, right. Straight into Elite. So, this is always the topic. What are the hardest Chopin attitudes? Yeah, these are the ones. The thing with 25-6 is that most people are not used to practicing or playing double notes or, you know, thirds. So, when they're encountered for that for the... When they encounter that for the first time, it's like... Wow, I have no idea how to do that. And that's what makes it difficult. Also, it's the speed that makes it difficult. And you really need to have a good uh, idea of how to play thirds. Of course, fingerings help uh, as well. Fingerings can help a lot. But also, you need to have this um, good control of the hand and this feeling, you know, of how to play thirds. It's just a, a different feeling how to play double notes in general. Um, yeah, of course, we know this is elite attitude. Is it the hardest attitude? Who knows? Th these are definitely the three hardest ones, in my opinion. Um, 25-7, musically, super, super challenging. Uh, technically advanced at best. Then, 25-8. Now, this one, I will tell you what. It is a, it's a hard piece, in my opinion. It is a hard piece. Um, most people don't play it properly. <laughs> uh, if you play it properly, you know it's a hard, uh, difficult piece. You got these uh, sixth, you know, with the legato. Um, it's not uh, that easy technically. I don't know how everyone's uh, thinking. This is like a bottom tier etude. It's definitely not. It goes right up there, in my opinion. Okay, twenty five nine. I like the melody so much on this piece. <laughs> it just sounds uh, so much fun. But where should we put it? Unfortunately, it is going to be one of those <laughs> again. Because I'm now picturing it, playing it. Yeah. Maybe demanding, but no way more than that. Uh, probably on the bottom side of the demanding. Okay, octaves attitudes, twenty-five, ten. This is a big one. So this is kind of similar to what I said about ten, eleven. Ten, eleven can be one of the hardest pieces, or it can be quite manageable. And most of it depends on your hand size. If you can play a, a like a twelve interval, just fine right? Uh, you you will have most of the work cut out for you. Of course, there is also, it's not just about how big your hand is. I know that there's uh, different factors, but having the hand size makes it a lot easier. 
and for the octaves the twos is the same thing because if you can play an octave with one free uh, then you will never have a problem doing a legato with one three one four or one four one five whatever you want to do or you know three four five and does it make the piece easier yeah of course it does it doesn't make the piece easy though it's always going to be in this category for me hard and no way lower than that but elite i think should be reserved for the very uh, very top by the way has one of the most beautiful melodies in the um the the slow section the second theme middle section whatever you want to call it i can't believe he put that in an etude it's just completely out of this world i, I love that theme okay then 25 11 and boy boy will i get a lot of hate for this <laughs> okay let me make my statement here first i will put this etude in the heart section okay there is no doubt in my mind that it is okay it's not easy at all it is difficult it's very difficult yeah in terms of difficulty is like a 9 out of 10, I think. And this is kind of also, I mean, I know people that played it, I know um, what they experienced, I know what the difficulties are, I've tried it myself. Um, if you have a good wrist, good wrist rotation, it takes a lot of work out of it. But of course the piece is super long and you need to play it cleanly and you need everything to work. You need stamina, you need the technique, yeah it's very very difficult it's like a 9 out of 10 but the question here is what are the hardest Chopin etudes what are the top 3 Chopin etudes you know nobody talks about the top 4 if you ask me what are the top 3 Chopin etudes the hardest then I say 10-1 10-2 25-6 and if you ask me what are the top 4 hardest etudes I would say 10-1 10-2 25-6 and 25-11 but it is um it is super difficult but it is slightly on a different level than these three it is more manageable you can manage it with having a um you know decent technique whereas you can have a great technique and not manage a good 10 2 or a 10 1 or a 25 6. um these are more kind of individual um, that you need to train towards this is a bit more general in my opinion uh, so yeah <laughs> gonna get a lot of hate for this but for me it goes there but don't be fooled this is like right in between the two yeah this is like like a couple of millimeters off <laughs> okay uh, and then the 2512 so I think most people including me like when I was a kid, I, I had this logic. Okay, Opus 10 number 1 is difficult. So if you have twice the amount of arpeggios, you know, both hands, then it must be double as difficult. Well, that's not the case at all with 25. Um, 12, it is probably in the demanding category, um, but not the hard category, I would say. It sounds a lot more difficult than it really is. Okay, here we are, guys. Let's recap. Well, these in elite, um, I will put the uh, I will put the title right here, so you can you can see it right now on your screen. These are the elite etudes. These are the hard etudes. And demanding, advanced, and painless. So it's completely okay with you to disagree and it's um, completely let's say uh, reasonable I mean difficulty is of course um, something that's not um, rational you know it's subjective it's not but I think uh, still most people can agree most uh, pianists professional pianists can agree on which are the actual hardest and I think I got pretty close to that kind of assessment and this is in my opinion um, the list that I would go with so uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little 
tour through all the Chopin etudes. If you want to see the details of 101, then check the link in the description. And otherwise, leave your comment telling me which one you think is um, the hardest ones and uh, which one are the easiest ones. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.